All right, guys, Ben Funderburger, Hey Man Fishing. On this episode, I'm going to show you a few places to fish in Cherokee. I got a couple other uh, videos out, but this is uh, this is going to be like episode five of Places to Fish in Cherokee. He's back here. We're going to fish up under it, take a look at it. There's also a bridge down here. Actually, the... Uh, if you go past that bridge down here, past the bridge on the other side, you're in uh, North Carolina waters. Uh, you gotta have that North Carolina permit. So as long as you're on this other side of that bridge, should be okay as far as uh, the uh, catch and um, keep tribal uh, waters. So let's go down here and take a look at it. So we got deep water, deep water in here. A lot of times you can see the fish in there. Let me look down here. Yeah, we'll, walk, we'll go down in here and try to fish this. So we're going to fish this little bit of area right here. See if we pick up anything. You're going up. There's a bridge right around the bend. Uh, other side of that, you're in North Carolina. Can't fish here. You got to have fly rod and North Carolina permit. There he is, right there. Ooh. Got him right off for us. Ain't no size. There you go. Oh, boys, I believe I found me a hole in here. Look at this. We got another one. We got another one under this bridge. Okay, two casts, two fish. I reckon we got a. They got they stacked up in here. Maybe they done throw some off here. I see a crane down there below me. I guess he's waiting on something to come by for him to get. And this water here, this is Soco, this is Soco Creek. Well, that's right off. Picked up two. There should be a stock for you right here. I'm going to leave those, that description on here for you to get here. Get to this area. A little small bridge going over to a residence. All right, we had another bridge here. And this is uh, off of old number four. Uh, this is off of old number four road. Right across... The river here is Jenkins Store. I usually call this bridge Jenkins Store Bridge. It's easier to remember, but it's um, off Highway 19 or Birdtown Road. Um, so yeah, these descriptions and all how to get here. I'm gonna put all that in uh, in the, uh, the video at the end in the under description. So let's go down here and check it out. Take a look at uh, Jenkins Store across from me so number four road this bridge yeah throw them right off the top so come down here try it Jenkins store bridge
And make sure, guys, when you uh, your boot, wading boots, get the uh, ones with a felt bottom. A lot easier walking on them rocks in the water, keep you from slipping. Got a lot of algae out here. All down here. Look at all the geese behind me. Now, this is just me, but I've done it enough alongside these bridge pylons, a little bit deeper. Maybe that's where you can pick up one. Go down on both sides. You know, you know it's a good place when you got the locals, for the most part. They got the night crawler sitting out, uh, the discarded night crawler plastic uh, cans. The water level is less than a foot and a half. We hit all around here and a few places down below, and then we'll move on somewhere else. Like I say, it's hit and miss. You come in here, clean it out. Again, you know, you got the bridge where they throw fish off in here. This is a Tuesday, so I'm thinking probably later toward the week they're going to stop over here. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. I'm up here several times throughout the year. Got a trip planned this fall, two of them. Uh, half fished in February. Oh, line gets real gets ice on it. Got to put them little heating pads in your boot. At least I do. All right, a little bit deeper water in here. down the side is piling. One thing you can do, go on top of that bridge and walk it. Look down in the water. A lot of times you can see them, you can see the trout in there just hanging in there. And I've already in the past video, I told you guys, check the, the railing. If it's wet up there, that's probably where they didn't pick them up out of the basket, out of that container, throw them over. The other thing you look at on the look on the uh, road, got a heavy uh, wet spot going through there. That truck made that turn, the water come out of out of the overflow of the tank. And the reason I know that because I worked in the fire service for 42 years in big fire trucks with them 500 to 1,000 gallon water tanks making them turns that water comes out. Alright, so you up here on Jenkins store try that uh, bridge, old number 4 road and uh, just get in there and check it might limit out all right, here's your another location. Right off of 19, you got great parking. Right down here, uh, about 200 yards is Jenkins store on the right. So just come back up like you're coming back up to Cherokee. You'll find this place right here. And it's, uh, it's Catch 
and keep. And uh, what you want to do over here, you want to fish on this. You want to get out on the other side uh, in the shallow water and fish this bank down through here. It's kind of uh, deep along this side. We're going down there. All right. So that bank ain't too bad coming down. I say it's pretty moderate getting down here. I want to walk over here. Uh, walk over here toward the middle so you fish down this bank right here. I want a little bit deeper. The fish have a tendency of holding up over here on the right. And it's about knee deep right here. Well, I'm at. It's a good thing. Now you can access. You see that sign in front of me? That's old number four road. You can hit it from that side, but you got to walk out across here. All right. Come on, Mr. Trout. I know you're over here. I know you're over here on this side somewhere. I don't know if you can see way down yonder is that Jenkins Bridge. Old number four road. Uh, that's where we was at a little bit ago. If you're not a subscriber, and you like Cherokee, uh, subscribe. Got a lot of trips coming. Show you some things I usually do. I'm going to be making a video on deep water holes and using live bait. Uh, especially in the summertime, you fish. They get where they hold up in them deep pools. If you want to see some big fish, go on to Paul's restaurant. Them fish on the wall all come from uh, across the road. All right, we're still on uh, Burktown Road, Highway uh, 19. Here's another little side area you pull off on. Uh, got deep water down here. Um, pretty steep to get down in here, so I'd say it's pretty difficult if you want to try to fish this area. But I have caught fish in here. And uh, let's go down there and show you what it looks like. The deep water... You got a pretty good platform to come out here to fish off of. Uh, deep, deep water. That's old uh, Husky Reynolds around the bend up there. You can come down here and give it a try. You guys got any comments you want to make on these videos something you want to see or something i can answer your questions about please comment i try to help you out i mean heck first time up here I try to find out as much as i could and how to fish it and I ain't, i'm still in the learning process i'm still learning from other people trial and error We'll take another good look in this area. Give you an idea. Guys, that concludes our fishing on this episode. You got at least four places that you can stop and uh, try out the bridge, the two bridges and uh, two places off of Highway 19, uh, Burtown Road. Easy uh, to pull off the side road. Some of them's hard to get down to. I mean, this last one here. That's got to be rated difficult because it's pretty steep bank to get down there to it. But the fish are the in there, just like anywhere else. If they stock, they're going to have fish in there and you're going to catch a limit. But uh, if you're in there and fishing, you catch two here, one there. You know, by the end of the day, after you done hit all these places, uh, you're going to have your limit. So uh, until next time, God bless all of you, and we'll see you later.